Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another NBA 2K11 Remastered My Career video. In our last video, we had the creation of CJ Green, um, and then we played the NBA Combine game. I'm only going to be playing one NBA Combine game um, this series, and then we will be moving on to the NBA Draft. So in today's video, we've got the NBA Draft and the Summer Circuit um, in Vegas. I will be showing you two of the Vegas games and then we'll be going from there. So as you guys can see, we are just in the gym. We are working. We are grinding. And we're trying to become a better player. Comment down below if you've got this mod yet. If you've played the mod, um, what do you think of it? I am really, really enjoying this. It is like a blast from the past. It is quite remarkable to think that someone has recreated this. But let's get into the video and let's get into the, the NBA draft. So it does say New York 2010. Um, so with these draft spots as well, Teams are not taking, uh, so for instance, you'll see here the Pelicans, they are not going to be taking Zion. It's all completely different. Ja Morant actually went number one to the Pelicans. Um, I don't think the mod could have actually changed all that. Zion actually went to the Knicks. Pretty exciting for the New York Knicks. Um, I'll just show you the first six. We did not go top six. Um, I thought I played pretty good in the combine games, but we definitely won't be going there. So Taco Fell actually got high. So um, you'll see a couple of things that might be a little bit off in this uh, little draft. Uh, video, but get ready. Um, we're about to find out where CJ Green will be beginning his career for um, NBA 2K11 Remastered. We are coming up to the 30th pick of the first round. We're projected to go in the second round, but we were taken by the Milwaukee Bucks. CJ Green will be joining Giannis Antetokounmpo in Milwaukee, and we will be pushing for an NBA championship in our first NBA season on NBA 2K11. So, I like I said, I can't believe this game is is here. But let's listen to our coach. Let's listen to Kobe. Don't for one second think you've made it just because you got drafted. It's time for the summer circuit, where your play will determine whether or not you'll make the team. This is serious business. If you slack off for even one game, you'll find yourself in the NBA D-League in the blink of an eye. There are only four games, so make every minute out there count. Let's get into Summer League, our first ever Summer League game with the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, let's get it underway. This, Like I said, this is like a blast from the past playing this game. It is quite remarkable to think that someone has gone and modded this and changed everything. They've added uh, rosters. Um, we're playing the Clippers in this game, but as you guys will see, there's a, few, some, there's a few players on this Summer League team who are not on the Clippers, so Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, but... Like I said, you can't get everything perfect um, with these mods and all that kind of stuff because this is a mod. It does feel like a brand new game, but it, it is a mod. That's what you have to get used to. CJ Green pulling up for three. Now, I just need you guys to not look at this teammate grade. Do not look at this teammate grade for this entire video. I know it's probably going to be in the comments section, um, everyone talking about this, this teammate grade, but let's not discuss the teammate grade. There's no need to do it as you see a nice little M1 from CJ Green. I'm going to say this, and I don't really know if people will agree, but yes, the graphics are worse, 100%. The graphics have 100% got better, but there are some animations in this game that are better than NBA 2K20. Like, I'll show you some animations a bit later on, where I honestly believe, like, look at, like, I feel like there's animations that in 2K11 that, that they need to bring back to 2K21. I, I, that's my opinion. Um, I'll sh I, as you guys can see, like, the animation is pretty smooth, like... This being, what, 10 years old almost? The animations of this game, like, look at this step back. Like, it is so hard to do step backs in NBA 2K20 and 2K19 and that. If you can master this, like, look at this spin move. Getting fouled. Um, they need to bring these back to NBA 2K21. Let's make that happen. Um, so, let's actually talk about these these Summer League games. So, I've got two Summer League games for you. The first game is us against the Clippers. Look at this. I, I'm telling you, this spin move is my go-to. Um, I'm, I'm going to go in every time. You see me hard foul here. Uh, I really do enjoy, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying playing this this mode. Um, I'm going to the, the free throw line quite a lot. I'm getting fouled, um, yeah, basically a, a high amount of times. I don't really know why I come off here, but um, even if you have hands in the face on this game, some people will knock it down. Look, look at this step back at the buzzer. It doesn't go, but at three-quarter time, um, CJ Green is, is, is going really, really well. Look at this step back, green, light up. Like, we haven't got like a, a shot meter, but look at this dunk as well, like... I'm telling you, there's some animations in this game I honestly can't remember it being. Like, getting body contact, adjusting in air. I really, really like um, the way this game is playing. And 
I'm not going to play the full season. That'd just be crazy trying to do that. Look at this move as well. Step back, Hezzy, um, little pass, and we get the assist as I throw it down with the right hand, CJ Green. Um, we actually got subbed out here in this game, so we just so I, I had to see I had to basically sim to wool back in, um, and I sim back in and actually went to OT. So this game was in OT. Um, CJ Green, look at this step back, couple of uh, pump fakes, I put seven pump fakes and just misses. I had to put that up. I was not going to not put that up. But look at this spin move, uh, getting that to go, giving the Bucks the lead. But this Clippers team, um, I'm not really going to comment on the team considering I think it's just like a summer league team just thrown together. But I got simmed out um, with about two minutes to go in OT, 30 points for CJ Green. Um, we ended up losing this game, um, but then I decided why not let's get into game number two. So we end up losing that game. So as you guys can see there, 30 points, 7 rebounds, and an assist for CJ Green. We've got the Lakers in game number 2, the Milwaukee Bucks against the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I think the Summer League uh, roster for this is, uh, I think, it is definitely different. Um, it definitely feels more like a Summer League roster. Um, CJ Green getting an assist here, nice pull-up. I think Brandon Jennings is on this Summer this summer League team uh, for, the, for the Milwaukee Bucks. But look at this spin move. Almost getting it to go. I love the free throw animation. I remember in 2K11, I had the Steve Nash free throw animation. Had to have it. Look at this little hop step, getting it to go with the left hand. Uh, we had a pretty big lead in this, and you know this step back. I have to put this up. Gets that to go. I reckon this is uh, CJ Green's. Uh, I reckon that's his go-to move, the step back or the spin move. It has to be one of those ones. But look at this corner shot. Green knocks it down. I don't know why I'm yelling green. And like I said, do not look at this teammate grade. I call for the ball quite a lot. That's probably why this teammate grade looks... As bad as it is. I mean, that shot is pretty bad. We can't be putting up shots like that once we make it to the NBA. But I'm interested to see how this goes. Look at this pull-up at the buzzer. Doesn't go. Good shot selection, though. We hold, we, I'm pretty sure we held a pretty good lead. It's a nice alley-oop there from CJ Green. That go. Step back here. Loves a good step back. I love the step back animations in this game. Um, I think they're really, really cool. I'm going all the way here. Almost getting it to go. But um, I'm pretty sure if you do play bad on this Summer League team, you can get actually... Cut from the team. So we had to play well. We had to play okay. Like, you wait till you hear the, the grill that I got um, from the coach or from, from Kobe, you could say, the 2K insider. Um, after after this game, it was it was huge. But nice move here from CJ Green. He gets that to go. So I'm pretty sure he finished with around, it was like 25, 27 points in this game as well. So it was pretty good. But look at that F grade. Please do not look at that F grade. Uh, guys, hope you're enjoying this series so far. I haven't really got too many episodes out, but I am going to be getting a fair few out now. Um, we had a pretty good game. The next probably videos coming up could be like our NBA debut or our, our summer camp and, and camp and all that. But let's listen to Kobe Bryant. I'll see you on the next one. I'm actually embarrassed to be your mentor right now. Yes, it was that bad. So I couldn't help but notice that you were the biggest ball hog out there. There is no quicker way to lose the respect of your teammates than to commit ball hoggery. And yeah, I just made up that word. I really need to express my disappointment with regards to calling for bad passes. You just seem to be calling for the ball at the wrong times. You need to either work harder to get open or put some more trust into your teammates. Obviously, you have a lot to learn from this game.